to talk about one of the top New Year's resolutions year after year, getting organized. How many of you have friends who got caught up in the tidying up craze? I have not watched the program myself, but I think when people are inspired to look at their spaces and their possessions in a new way, it's always a good thing. I have seen numerous posts on Facebook of teachers wanting to organize their classroom, but they are overwhelmed and don't know where to start. So I wanted to give you my tips to tackle your classroom organization. Now some people think they can just go out and buy cute boxes and buckets and baskets and things and then they will magically become organized. But they find out that it doesn't help them at all because they have skipped the first steps. This is a step where you purge out the things that you don't need or don't want anymore. The things that are broken, the things that need to be given away. And then from there, you catalog the remaining things that you are keeping into groups that make sense for you. Your 2D props, your 3D props, your rewards, your whiteboards, whatever it is that you need to have categories for. And then you'll be ready for step two. Do you have a standing desk? Do you have a nice big desk to spread out? Do you share an office with other people so you have to be able to take your classroom down every day, like me? <laughs> All of these will affect your choices in determining what you need to be able to best organize your classroom. Let me give you an example. I was recently helping a teacher friend of mine who was trying to find a better way to utilize her space. Now she teaches from a standing desk and she uses a lot of 3D props and has not been able to find a convenient way to have those props within arm's reach. As teachers, we all have different ways that we prepare and we teach and this will dictate which will be the most effective way for us to organize our classrooms. With this in mind, you are ready for step three. Personally, I like to create mood boards on Pinterest when I am trying to get ideas when I'm creating a new space. It is important to cast a wide net for you to have the most successful collection of ideas. So don't just look at classroom organization pins. Look at kitchen organization, look at produce organization, look at art room organization. Sometimes searching for ideas in unrelated areas will bring inspiration that you never would have come across in a very narrow search. So my friend with the standing desk, I made a mood board for her with a bunch of different ideas and the one that seemed to resonate the most with her was the idea of floating shelves. This would allow her to have her baskets with her most used props right at the perfect height for her to be able to grab and put away. And if you get panic attacks, <laughs> just thinking about going on Pinterest, then phone a friend, find someone who loves to be on Pinterest, have them make a mood board for you, bribe them with cookies, coffee, and wine, and then you will be ready for step four. Now you can make a more informed buying decisions because now you know what you need and what you don't. Now you can either DIY it or go to the container store and buy everything or you might just want to be somewhere in the middle, a little of both, and you are then ready for step number five. Depending on what is needed and what level of DIY you are comfortable with, you might need to get some help. But once everything is done, the only thing left to do is enjoy. To review, here are the steps to organize your classroom. 
purge and catalog what you have. Sort your props and things into groups that make sense for you. Examine how you teach. This will dictate what organizational solutions will work best for you. Make a plan, mood boards, and remember to cast a wide net for getting ideas. Buy all the things and you'll know what you need and what you don't. Put it all together. Now you can DIY it or get some help, and then enjoy. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. And if you liked this video, please subscribe so you don't miss any new content. This is Cindy signing off. May the process of organizing spark joy. May your friends like the cookies and coffee and wine that you bring and may you find solutions that work best for you.